Hey, Pi Beacons, it's me, Linz. So, for those of you that were able to join us for Science Fun of Linz today, you guys have seen this experiment and know what to do. But for those of you that weren't able to make it, don't worry, I'm gonna show it to you now. Or, for those of you that were able to make it, but wanna learn about how to do it again, that's cool too. All right, so this experiment is gonna teach us a little bit about hot air, which likes to expand or get bigger, cold air, which like, likes to contract or get smaller, and what happens when those two things change really quickly. So all you need for this experiment is a ceramic plate, a little bit of water, which I've dyed blue here, some matches or a candle. Now, we used matches today, but remember guys, because this experiment involves fire, if this is something you guys wanna do at home on your own, be sure to do it with a helper, like a caregiver, a parent, an assistant, or a friend. All right, so I'm gonna do the experiment, and then I'm gonna explain to you why what happens happens, and then I'm gonna show you guys again. So for right now, I've just used a small piece of clay to put my candle in so it sticks to the plate. I'm gonna put my water on the plate. I'm gonna light the candle. Remember guys, be very careful with fire. All right, so now that we have that candle going, you guys can't really see it, but it is burning. I'm gonna put, here, let's see if that helps a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. It is burning. I'm gonna put this glass over this candle. Watch what happens to the water. Pretty cool, right? Here, I'll bring it a little closer so you guys can see. The water got pulled up into the glass. But the question is, why? Well, here's why. When we light that candle, we're creating a lot of hot air. There's a lot of hot air that is going around this candle and in this area. But when we put this glass over it, and we get rid of that heat, that flame, the air cools down. And what happens when it cools down is because the glass is over it, it doesn't have anywhere to go, but it likes to get really small and tight. So it gets really small and tight and it goes up because it wants to be really close together. And when that happens, the pressure between the glass and the plate causes the water to get sucked up as well. Let me show you guys again. Again, be very careful with fire. So here we go. Our candle is burning. It's a green flame, very mysterious. So we're creating a lot of hot air in this area. I can feel it. It's very warm. I'm gonna put this candle out with this glass and watch that water. There goes the candle. Whoop. And there goes the water. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.